my greetings on World Biofuels Day 2022 to all of you who are gathered for this seminar, citizens and members of the media. It gives me immense pleasure to see the lineup of industry captains, policy makers and thought leaders at this grand event. I am sure that the takeaways from today's discussions will provide key inputs to India's roadmap for the mass transition of our automotive sector to biofuels. Consistent with the Honorable Prime Minister's vision of an ethanol-based mobility as one of the pathways for carbon neutrality and fostering sustainable mobility, the Indian automobile industry is accordingly producing vehicles that are compatible with low carbon fuel like E10, E20 and flex fuel vehicles for fostering decarbonization and sustainable mobility. Subsequently, a roadmap for ethanol blending in India 2020-25 was also released by the Honorable Prime Minister in June 2021, which lays out detailed pathways for achieving 20% ethanol blending with an intermediate milestone of 10% blending by November 2022. It gives me immense pride to state that due to the coordinated efforts of the government, OMCs and the readiness of the automotive industry, the target of 10% blending has been achieved of November 2022, wherein the OMCs have attained an average of 10% ethanol blending in petrol across the country in May this year. This resulted in foreign exchange savings of Rs 41,500 crores timely payment of over Rs 40,600 crores to farmers and reduction of 27 lakh tons in carbon dioxide emissions. I am pleased to share that Honorable Prime Minister has inaugurated a project today on the equation of World Biofuel Day. Indian Oil Corporation Limited has set up the first ever second generation 2G ethanol biorefinery using parali, paddy straw, peat stock in Panipat, Haryana, with a production capacity of 100 kiloliters per day. With all the initiatives taken by the government and with the support of the stakeholders, the EBP program is on track to achieve the target of 20% blending by 2025-26. To conclude, I express my gratitude to all stakeholders, particularly Siam, for taking comprehensive efforts and effectively popularizing ethanol blending and other biofuels in achieving sustainable mobility and sustainable development goals by 2030. Thank you.